Hey there, I'm Tesla and I'm back doing Unreal Engine 4 tutorials now. In this one, we're going to take a look at setting up different ways you can interact or communicate with blueprints in your game or your project. I provided the link for this project in the video description if you want to follow along. Okay, so in my project, I have a couple of actors that I prepared that are meant to represent just uh, some blueprints in your world that you can go up to and interact with. And all of these actors just have a simple function or custom event in them just called use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just start by setting up the interaction system. So we're going to be using a line trace. So I'm going to use a first person character here. I'm just going to grab the first person camera. I'm going to use a key as well. So I'm going to get F. And then from F, we're going to drag this out and type in line trace. And we want a line trace by channel. And then from the first person camera, well, we can see on the line trace that we need a start point and an end point. We're just going to drag out the first person camera here and type in get world location for our start. And then for our end point, we're going to get the forward vector from the camera. And then we're going to multiply this by a float. And then we can put in a value here, let's say 400. And then just add these two vectors together to get our end point. And just to make sure that works for you, you can drop down the draw debug type here and hit forward duration and jump in the game and start pressing F and you should see the red lines there. So we're reaching out into the world and hitting objects. So we want to gain access from those hits that we get. So with the line trace, we will always want to check uh, if we hit something. So with this return value here, which is a boolean, we can just hold down B and left click and get a branch and it connects the return value to that condition. So we can say, do we hit something? Yes or no? If we do, well, we can get this out hit here. We can drag it out and break the hit result. This gives us the information from the hit. And then we can drag out our hit actor and then we can cast. And cast is basically just saying, who have we hit? Well, I want to see if I've hit my door blueprint. So I'm gonna type in cast to door BP. Okay, and if I have hit my door blueprint, well, I want to just use it because I have that common function just called use. Okay, so I can go up to my door, press F on it and I can use it. But now I want to go up to my dispenser and press F on it and use that as well. Okay, so I want to drag out my hit actor again and type cast to dispenser blueprint and then this also has a use function in it. Okay. Okay, these use functions as well, these are completely independent. I could recall the rename this to use to, for example, and it's gonna have nothing to do with that use function there. Okay, so the problem here is, well, to make this work, I'd have to hit cast failed like that. So it would have to check, have we hit the cast, uh, have we hit the door first, sorry, and then have we hit the dispenser, have we hit material sphere and all these blueprints here. So it's going to turn into a bit of spaghetti and um, we're going to take a look at a better way of setting it up by using blueprint interfaces. Okay, so let's set up our first blueprint interface. To do that, what we're going to do is just in the content browser, we're going to right click, just go to blueprints and then hit blueprint interface. And we're just going to call this uh, BP Interfaces. We can open that up. Now, this is just basically like a function library. It's going to create loads of functions for us. And it's already created as one. And it wants us to name it. Let's just call this Interact. And that's all we're going to do here. Let's just hit Compile and close it. And let's just go into the first person character blueprint and see what that's done. If we right click and just type in Interact, it'll pick up that we have a blueprint interface library and you can see that it has the interact function there and it says message. So if we grab that, you can see that it just requires a target. So if we just, uh, let's get rid of these and just connect the hit actor up to that. And then from the branch, we'll connect that up as well. So looking at it just like that, that's just eliminated all those casts and, and needing to do that. It's, it's, we're just using one common function for interact there, which is really cool. Um, but the problem is it's not going to do anything just yet. We'll have to set some things up inside the blueprints. So inside your blueprints or your blueprint actors, uh, you can just go inside them there. Let's just go into this, this door. And if we right click again and just type in interact, you can see we only have the message, but we want the interact event. So to, to get the event, we need to go to the class settings and actually add this interface into this class. So we'll drop down the add here and just add in blueprint interfaces and it's really important to hit compile so make sure you hit compile and then right click here and type in interact again and you see you have your event interact 
Okay, and then we can drag this out and just connect it to our use function, which will fire that custom event just there. Okay, just to make sure that works, we can go up to the door, and press F, and it works again. And it's not going to work in any of these because they don't have the interface set up on them. Okay, so let's just jump into the dispenser and make that work. We've got our use to event that we renamed. We can add in the class settings, add in that blueprint interface, hit compile, type in interact again, get the event interact, and then just call the custom event, which is use to for me. Hit compile, just make sure that works. We can go up to the door, we can then go up to the dispenser, and it works. Okay, so one last thing you might want to think about is, well, I'm kind of calling this on every single actor we hit with the trace, so we could narrow that down if we want by using a tag system. Okay, so I've just gone around the rest of my actors and set it up so they're using our new blueprint interface. So let's take a look at tags. There's two different ways we can set up tags. We can just click on an actor in the map, and then on our search filter, we can just type in tag and you can see we have actor tags and we can add in a new one. Just make sure it's not the component tags because we're looking at the actor tags. Okay, so with this tag we can just give it a name. Let's just give it interact. Okay, and let's come to our character blueprint again. And let's just take a look here. So if we break this link, I'm just going to hold left alt and left click to break that link there. Uh, before we hit our interact message, we want to check to see if the actor has a tag. So let's drag out hit actor, type in actor has tag. Just gives us a little function there. And we can throw in the filter for the name. Let's type in interact and then use a branch again. Let's connect that up. Okay, so with our line trace, if we've hit something connected to that branch, check to see is it tagged with interact. If it is, let's call the interact blueprint interface on it. Okay, so we've just set it up on the sphere, so I should be able to go up to this, press F on it, and it has a nice little material switch. Okay, so it's not going to work on any of these other ones just yet, but that's fine. Um, that's just one way of setting up that tag. But the problem with setting up that way, it only applies to that instance of the actor. So if I drag in another one, you can see that the tag is gone. It's just applied to that one. So to set it up by default, let's just use this cube here. We can just go into the blueprint editor and hit class defaults and you'll see under the actor tab there you might have to expand this little white arrow you can add in the default tag here and we can just call that interact again and just to make sure that works we can go up to this cube press F on it and it does okay so we can go ahead and set up the rest of our actors as well um, I'm just going to do it quickly now Okay, so I can now jump in the game and interact with all of my blueprints. And to summarize, we're doing this just by calling a single interface message, eliminating the need of having to cast between all of your actors after a line trace. So thanks for checking this tutorial out. I hope it helps. And if you'd like me to work in your project or if you're interested in private tutoring, please feel free to contact me via my website.